So uh, in thinking more about the uh, slinky drop question, I started wondering about what happens up here. That is, we know what happens to the bottom of the slinky, which is beautiful and remarkable, but I got really curious um, how we could describe the motion um, of the top of the slinky. So I loaded this uh, slow-mo footage of the slinky drop into Logger Pro and did a video analysis on that top left corner of the slinky. And it looked to me that uh, the position versus time graph um, was pretty linear and the velocity was pretty um, constant, um, which was baffling to me. Um, so I uh, opened this um, old physics simulation program and made my own slinky out of balls and, and springs. The nice thing about this is I could change the spring constants and I could change the mass of the ball so I could basically make whatever slinky I wanted to um, and then drop it. Um, but um, that's pretty neat. But then I was able to um, load some footage of this into Logger Pro as well. Um, and when I did that, um, or when I did the motion capture, or that is the video analysis on this as well, you can see the slinky bunching up just like it's supposed to. No matter what springs I used and no matter what masses I used, I still got basically the same result. So I'm starting to become convinced um, that that top of the slinky accelerates really rapidly in the very, very beginning of the fall and then falls at basically a constant speed until the entire slinky bunches up in which in which point at which point um, the top and the bottom all start to accelerate downward at G um, so I, I find this pretty remarkable and I wanted to share it so thanks for watching